Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw the head of a woman with the falcon in the water with ink. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. I will use this solid bar of ink which we can dissolve with some water. And I use this oriental brush as we did in the last video. Very good. We begin sketching the shape of the hair. You can begin anywhere, but I find this practical. With this we can easily see the proportions to start building. Having that, we can do the shape of the face and some features. As the ink is diluted, once we add the black line with the pen, this will not show very much. It will just be like a shadow, which allows us to make corrections. Let's add the eyes. Then the chin and the jaw. We can also add some shading with the ink. Ok, good, let's pull out the pen. This beautiful Montegrappa has a fine nib. And as you know, using the back of the tip draws even thinner, which we can use for the detailed work. We go over the lines that we made with the brush and correct them as needed. For example, here the jaw and the face were too long, so we shortened them. Good. Now, standing on her shoulder will be a falcon. I begin with the paws that will be on her shoulder, because if I start all the way up with his head, by the time I come down and complete him, very likely he will be too short or too long, and that will be a disaster. <laughs> As you saw, I also sketched the falcon first with the brush. Now we can draw her hair and start giving some shading with the pen. We use hatching and cross hatching, more or less following the shapes of the surfaces we are drawing. And now let's do the falcon. He will be a peregrine falcon, so he will have something similar to a helmet on the head dark wings, and the chest and legs with dark spots. Let's draw some loose strands of hair coming down. We give a little bit more shading to her body before we draw the water. Like so. And now we do the surface line, following slightly her shapes. And we do some little ripples or waves around her. And allow me to shade just a little bit more. Ok, good. Now let's create the texture of the water. Loosely. This is pretty fun. We may want to accentuate some edges, some pieces of lines, to give it more movement. So that it is not all flat. 
If you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code, the peregrine. Thanks. Now let's draw a slight reflection of them on the water. We just make that area underneath a little bit darker. We give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, check out my book with the link below <laughs> and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.